Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from SneakerHistory.com. We are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for dropping on by. I really do appreciate you. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. Please leave a like, drop a comment because those little actions mean a ton. It gets the video through the algorithm that you hear all the YouTubers talk about to make sure more eyes can get on the video and it can just keep growing. Now, for everyone who does those things for all these videos I put out, thank you so much. For all those who will do them in the future, thank you. I really do appreciate that. Now, if you need to find me outside of YouTube, find me on Instagram and Twitter at MattWatcher789. And of course, you can find me on Sneaker History Podcast and SneakerHistory.com. All right, guys, I got something pretty cool today. Uh, this is a shoe that I just got in maybe two days ago. I have eye on it for a little while, but the release has been wacky on it. I honestly don't know when they're actually gonna release here in the States, but that's what we're gonna talk about a little later. But first, I wanna show you guys the box. We have our Nike SB box here in that purple colorway. And guys, please correct me if I'm wrong, but does purple mean general release and then a rainbow box that they have that's a limited release or like the premium release or whatever you want to call it? I just didn't know because I feel like that's kind of the, the I don't know, the pattern I see when it comes to SB Dunk releases. So you let me know down below. Now, of course, I just said it, we're looking at an SB Dunk, but this is a Dunk Low Premium. Um, it's size 10, navy, university gold, and gym red. I don't know if you guys know this one already, but if you do, good for you. If not, we're gonna pull them out here in just a second. But guys, I'm really impressed by this shoe. I'm gonna grab them here in just a moment, but I have to say I'm impressed by it. It may not be the most uh, hype sneaker, but it has done well. And if you can get your hands on them, I say go for it now because prices are right. And the sneaker we're talking about is the Barcelona or Catalonia Dunk Low Pro. Now you guys can see first off, we have that mismatched colorway going where we have the red on the left toe box, the blue on the right. And then we have the same deal going on on the back of the shoe for you. So blue on the left and then red on the right here. Now the sneaker itself is very nice, um, of course done up in the Barcelona colorway. Now, if you guys didn't know, Nike is the jersey sponsor of course for FC Barcelona or Barcelona FC. I can't remember which way that goes, but you guys will correct me, I know you will. But uh, this, is going to not, this is going to be the first time they've ever put the Barcelona colorways on the SB Dunk but not the first time they've ever used Barcelona colorways on a night shoe. My personal favorite is gonna be the Kobe 6 in that kind of mango Barcelona colorway. I'll put the picture up there. Uh, I think it was the third jersey colorway for that particular year. I can't remember. I know you guys will let me know down below, but that's one of my favorite Kobe's ever. Uh, that's just a nice shoe and that, you know, I think it has the Barcelona badging on the back of the tongue, if I'm not mistaken. And it was a very limited release and I wish I could get a pair, but Regardless, we're here now and we're looking at the duck. Now guys, this sneaker had a weird release to it. Um, it's already released in Europe and Asia, if I'm not mistaken. And that was back in July. There's been no word on the release here in the States, so which is kind of weird to me. Uh, seems like something that would actually do well here. Um, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with it. It is very weird and I would like to say that we'll hopefully get it sooner or later but I really haven't seen anything about it anywhere coming to the States. Everything's to be announced or to be determined. The only time I've seen it in an American ad, I guess, would be the You Can't Skate Here little video they did on the sneakers that where P-Rod is actually wearing these. But that's it. They're not advertising the shoe. I feel like they're talking more about the off-white dunks, if I'm not mistaken, or at least that's what I gathered from the video, but I don't know if they're ever gonna show up here. Now, with that being said, I don't know what happened to the prices, which, don't mistake this for me being upset about the prices dropping. I just never, I didn't expect it to do what it did because I saw a couple of videos, which aren't, there aren't many of about the shoe out, but the prices were really high a couple months back. I think over 300 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, from again, some of the other creators I saw talking about the shoe and the value just dropped. I got these for 170 off go. Now, I don't know if it's because of the oversaturation of dunks now, which I'm not mad at because there's a dunk for everybody at this. So that way we're not having to all clamor for the same ones. There's something for everyone out there. And hopefully everyone who likes dunks are able to get their pairs now. Now I was joking with the uh, guys in our discord and I said that, hey, is it because that around the time this was releasing overseas, that's when Messi had left Barcelona and went to PSG. So the, the Barcelona fans, the diehards out there really just said, nah, we're just gonna move on from this shoe and the value drop there. Now, whether that's, you know, either one of those, direct or indirect, I think it did have an effect on this sneaker. Um, because this, uh, you don't see dunks sub 200 really. 
if they have to be really atrocious like the uh Oh um, my goodness, what does that, the camouflage, the multi-camouflage dunks? Those things are awful. And I see those at about like the 180, 190 mark. And dunk highs, I guess depending on the color, I see them right about 190. But still, usually, especially the SBs, and you're getting like kind of a mismatched colorway, I mean, that typically screams, you know, make the price go up, make it hard for everybody to get. So I'm happy. I actually like these a lot, and I was able to get them for... A lower cost not as low as i want it but still low enough to not really have to uh deal with the coming out of pocket with a lot I, and honestly i sold a couple shoes on go they had some credit floating around after you know after i sold them so i ended up getting these so i didn't come out of pocket so that was nice as well now we're going to jump into the materials of this shoe uh this is a nice sneaker and i'm very surprised by the materials especially the toe box because you guys see me squeezing it right now sb dunks typically have a more firm and constructed toe box, I guess to endure, I mean, skating, that's what they're there for. But this is a very soft suede toe box. Now, suede is our new bug, pick which one, they're never a stranger to SB Dunks. I've had a couple pairs, and typically the toe box, if it's not leather, it's the suede. And they're, that, that happens around the mud guard. But I've never seen one with a, both a suede mud guard and a toe box, but I haven't had a ton of SB Dunks, so I'm sure you guys who are watching who had you know bigger more vast sb sb dunk dunk collection can tell me different i'm sure you can but i will say the suede wrapped around the entire shoe it is very nice i mean that's the, the premium piece of the shoe i'm gonna assume now the leather on the swoosh is okay i mean it's a small piece of leather it's not anything to write home about uh seems pretty stiff but that never means that it is a bad leather it just could be a thicker cut of leather but honestly i'm not too too sure if it's even real leather to be honest with you not real sure but it does have a, a bit of a tumble look to it so you guys get a closer look of course i'm gonna get that on there for you but they're not bad I, i'm not mad at this shoe whatsoever i'm gonna wear this a lot because it's one of those things that is crazy but it's very wearable it's not as out there as like the what the paul or you know what the p-rod whatever guys call it um but it's still it's still fun but it's still wearable because of the, the kind of the toned down colors and how evenly they kind of broke up the colors and, and flipped them now Again, you're gonna have that blue suede on the toe box of the right shoe, and we switch it up on the left shoe, so, but all same materials. You're gonna have the gold swoosh on both sneakers, that doesn't change at all. And on the heel tab, you're gonna have your Nike done up in gold riding, and of course, you have the blue heel tab on the right shoe, and of course, you ran on the left shoe. Because this is an SB Dunk, you're gonna have the fat tongue here for a little bit more padding when you're skating. You're gonna have the tag done up in, of course, red and gold on this shoe, and then on the other, you blue and gold. Both shoes are gonna have the blue oval laces in, uh, that are already pre-laced in the sneaker, but you're gonna have a couple more floating around here. So we have our gold laces and we have our red laces available. And as you can probably guess, the insole is gonna be blue on this shoe. And if we pick up the right shoe, oh, I'm sorry, the left shoe, I apologize, it's gonna be red. So everything's just inverted in the sneaker. Um, but as a whole, it's a very nice, again, very, very good quality. Now I'll say when it comes to quality materials, great quality control. I give them like a B minus on it. Uh, there were a couple little blue stains I saw, nothing crazy, but it was, I think it was more on the right shoe here, just kind of around where they're kind of gluing the sole down. You can see like right across the toe box, there's a little bit of glue, a uh, little bit of a stain on the swoosh, but it is what it is. I know everything can't be 100% perfect. I'm going to wear these anyway, but I just want to like, kind of give you guys an idea. I don't know if every pair looks like that, but it is what it is. You know, it's nothing, it's nothing too terrible. It's not like a big blue stain across the toe box or anything of that nature, but I did just want to point that out to you guys. Now you're going to have a white midsole, but what gets me is going to be that gum bottom. I love a good gum bottom. You have the blue little foam Nike SB branding right here in the middle. Man, I, that, it looks good. It Whatever, I don't know what it is. It just breaks up the colorway nicely. You have the really like darker, um, like, ah, man, yeah. I, I don't know what the words I'm looking for. Just you have the darker colors up top. You got a lot going on with the mismatch going on. But you also have that gum bottom. I think that's just done very well. And, oh, of course, with the Pro SBs, you're going to have the extra ankle padding here. So that way you get a little bit more Achilles protection. I think it really would have been cool though, I would have loved to see a gold mini swoosh right here on the outside of the toe boxes. I think that would have looked pretty sick. Um, 
they probably would charge you another 10 bucks more because of that mini swoosh, but it would have been worth it. It would have been pretty nice to have this gold stitched in uh, embroidered little mini swoosh. That would have looked pretty nice on this. Now, again, I don't know when these are going to be releasing here in the States, but if you're looking for them now, I'll put a link down below the goat. They've been pretty cheap from what I can see. It look like pretty much ranging from like 160 to 200 bucks, depending on the size, which again, not really something you probably want to do spin resale but it is cheaper than other dunks out there and this is a solid quality and a good looking shoe sizing i went size 10 true to size that's what i wear in dunks that's what we're in jordan one so buy the same size i know some people like to go up half a size in dunks i don't i've never done it i just i don't have a wide foot either so maybe for the wide footers go up to half size but for me i go with my true size 10 in these and if you haven't worn a dunk before Honestly, I say whatever you wear in the Jordan 1, if you know what you wear that, keep the same size there. But that's it for this review, guys. I mean, there's nothing much more to go over. I know everyone's seen the dunks a million times, but I really want to show this colorway to you guys because it really hasn't gotten much uh, much show through, through YouTube or through many reviews at all. I've seen a couple, but again, they were, I feel like they were just kind of scattered in other videos. So I want to give you guys a dedicated review to it. Now, only thing I think I missed is the insole, of course, has a zoom unit, but I didn't pull it out. You guys already know that with the SB Dunk lows or the SB Dunks, you're going to have the zoom unit in the in the insole. So that's the only other thing we didn't show. But other than that, guys, let me know what you think about this particular sneaker. I'm a huge fan. This is perfect for the fall. I mean, I wear it regardless, but fall's coming up here in mean, what, a month or so. It's perfect fall colors, but it's going to get some wear. I, I like it a lot. You guys let me know what you think down below. I like it, not like it. You already got a pair. You're still trying to figure out where to get a pair. Let me know down below. I love talking to you guys in the comments. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, see ya.